So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 139 of our Manchester United career mode and we are going to be kicking off this episode with a home game at Old Trafford as we are going to take on the men in blue, the almighty Tottenham Hotspur. So it's going to be a massive game of three today and the first chance of the game did actually fall to Spurs with Ravel Morrison playing the ball across to Martin Derone but thankfully for us he could only find the post. But then we had another fantastic chance, Paul Pogba was running through but Luke McGee were fantastic save to deny us from getting that all important goal that we needed and the second chance actually fell to Paul Pogba again and once again Luke McGee come out on top denying Paul Pogba another brilliant chance for us to take the lead but unfortunately the man between the sticks for Spurs was in inspired form he was playing fantastic and he made two vital saves but then we had probably one of the best chances of the game as he played the ball across to Luke Shaw Luke Shaw with a delightful ball into the centre and it is none other than Paulo Dybala the to Argentinian rises highest above Lima Almeida above the Spurs centre backs and he heads the ball into the back of the net to give ourselves a 1-0 lead but also guys you have probably already realised this is a post commentary and the reason being is because the file actually corrupt and I lost all of the audio for the live commentary. So basically, I'm having to um, edit everything manually and uh, upload this one for you guys. So um, hopefully, we can still get it out on time, but I'll do my very best. But pretty much, Spurs tried to reply straight away, but thankfully for us, their shot could only hit the side netting. But then we had the chance to put the game to bed. We play the ball across to Gerard Delafell. All he had to do was hit the target, but no. He put the ball wide of the post. Luke McGee come charging off his line. And it looked like that was enough to actually put him off. But then we had another good chance. But Luke McGee once again making the save. But the best save of the game was yet to come. Because as you see here, we had a really good chance to play ball back to Laporte. Laporte went for goal and it was a half decent save. But what I'm talking about was this one here. As Ross Barkley picked up the ball, he went to goal from range. But Luke McGee once again at full stretch, right up to his right-hand side and making a fantastic save. But that was in fact it for the game. We managed to pick up the result and we probably should have scored more goals if it wasn't for Luke McGee but we managed to pick up all three points which is the most important thing and then as you can see on your screen right now we had to offer contracts to pretty much 14 players in the Manchester United team and I would say about 70% of them were all first team players we had the likes of Paul Pogba Paolo Dybala Luke Shaw we had some big big names in there and their contracts were all running out so we had to go ahead and sign them up again otherwise they could be leaving on pre-contract deals and that would have been the worst thing for us but we had a game here up against Arsenal at the Emirates and the first chance fell to us and the first goal also come to us as Lima Almeida does very well he cuts back inside past the Arsenal centre-back Gabriel and what a finesse shot that was right into the top hand corner Tito Sifuentes goes across to congratulate him because that was a moment of genius what a cut back and that is some finish as well past Castells at full stretch and we took the lead just 10 minutes in and that was actually Lima's 15th goal of the season but then Paul Pogba bringing out the skills off those ball back inside to Tito Sifuentes he went for goal but this time Castells did actually come out on top and he made a fantastic save but then Gerard Delo fell charging down the right hand side past Jimenez he stops pretty much lets Jimenez run past him and then sneakily finesses the ball into the bottom corner and uh, the goalkeeper could there be question marks asked about him should he be letting that in at his near post I'm not 100 sure but whatever guys we managed to take the lead and that is the most important thing for us so we're now 2-0 up and it looks like it could be game set and match but if it wasn't we had another fantastic chance Tito Sifuentes is going for goal Castells made the save but Paolo Dybala could only manage an air shot otherwise he would have had a simple tap in so the scoreline was still sitting at Arsenal nil. Manchester United 3 but then Tito Sifuentes had a fantastic chance went for goal the goalkeeper made a fantastic save Kieran Gibbs then nearly put it into his own net but he manages to make amends to put the ball wide for a corner kick but from the corner kick nothing much happened as he put a good ball into the centre but then from that corner kick Gerard Delafell stopping the ball from going out plays the ball back inside to Lima Almeida Lima Almeida takes the ball round his man and then he tries to take him on but the ball falls back to Emmerich Laporte Laporte through to Ross Barkley he takes on his man Ross Barkley through to Paul Pogba but he gets a little bit of luck here with the deflection it falls back to him and then he goes ahead and puts the ball into the top hand corner to pretty much put the game to bed and 
we did get a slight bit of luck on that one because if you guys weren't aware, it took a huge reflection. That's why Castells is a little bit disappointed, but there's not much he can do about it. Uh, we got lucky here with the first shot as it fell straight back to Paul Pogba. He went for the second shot and then it actually ricocheted off Kieran Gibbs' leg up into the top hand corner. Castells, absolutely no chance getting anywhere near that one as we take a 3 0 lead. And that 3 0 lead soon turned into a 4 0 lead because Delafell plays the ball to Lima. Lima first time out wide and Tito Cifuentes putting the ball smartly into the back of the net but Castells you should be saving that one, mate. The shot was pretty much straight at him, but all he could do was ricochet the ball into his roof of the net. And I'm sure a goalkeeper of his quality would not be wanting to see that one again. Tito probably should have put it into the back of the net, but he's not complaining. He picked up his second goal of the campaign. And since he's come into the club, he has really performed well. And if four wasn't enough, we then put five in. Paolo Dybala puts the ball past Castells for a fifth time in this episode. And uh, yes... What a fantastic victory it was for us. We managed to pick up five goals away from home at the Emirates Stadium. And that is something you don't see very often. A fantastic result for us there. But then this happened. Yes. As you can see on your screen right now, the game froze. An error has occurred in the following application. FIFA 17. Checking the error status. 100%. What's going to happen? Is it going to go back to the game? Is it going to quit the game? No. It quits the game, which means we lost that game against Arsenal. But what we did decide to do, we thought we can't play it again because I am on a very tight schedule to try and get these videos uploaded for you guys, to try and get daily uploads back for you. So what I decided to do was go ahead and sim the game against Arsenal and just make sure we won it. So that is in fact what we did. So we took on Arsenal in the sim game with exactly the same lineup and this one we did manage to win by two goals to nil. So at least we managed to still pick up three points. The only thing is our goal difference is three worse than probably what it should be because we did win that game by three goals to nil as you guys saw. But then the third and final game of this episode was going to be at Old Trafford as he was going to be taking on Liverpool. So Liverpool was going to be a difficult game for us and it's our third big game of this episode and the first chance to actually fall to us as Milik played the ball back inside to Marcus Rashford but the goalkeeper Carrius come out and made a fantastic save to deny Rashford from just tapping the ball into the back of the net but then the second chance fell to them. Tammy Abraham with a lovely ball across. It looked like Philip Coutinho was going to have a simple tap in at the far post but Guillermo Varela had a different idea. He managed to get back in time and get a fantastic block on that one. And um, yeah, the scoreline was still at 0 0, but then we had a fantastic chance. And uh, Carrius, once again, making a good save. So if it wasn't for Carrius in this game, we would have taken the lead. And my, uh, wow. That would have been a fantastic goal from Pereira, wouldn't it? If he could find the acrobatics into the back of the net. But then this happened. In the 45th minute, Alexander Arnold gets taken down from the Manchester United player, Torres Gomez, the centre-back, and he's guilty. Tammy Abraham would then step up to the penalty spot and it was going to be his chance to try and convert it to give Liverpool a 1-0 lead going into the half-time break. So, it was going to be David De Gea up against Tammy Abraham. Who's going to come out on top? Of course, Tammy Abraham was. He puts the ball smartly into the bottom corner with a little shimmy in the run-up as well as he um, pretty much done very well there to put that one straight into the bottom corner. And to be honest, nothing much happened after that. The last chance and the last good chance fell to us with Marcus Rashford playing the ball through to Amana. And Amana does very well, cuts back inside. He should put the ball into the back of the net, but no. He puts the ball straight into the glove of Carriers, and that was a simple save for him. So a little disappointed that we could not create anything from this game. And Pereira's final attempt was blazed over the bar as we ended up losing that game by one goal to nil at Old Trafford against Liverpool. So we were expecting a win, but we didn't get it. But that is fact going to be it for this episode of career mode if you did enjoy it please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is going to be very much appreciated and don't forget if you are new around here hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with my latest videos and career modes thank you so much for watching bye bye yeah.